And we are back. Lisa Waters Lane in the studio. She comes each week with your garden questions. Just what are your neighbors talking about? Mm -hmm. And there's some value at just kind of tracking what's going on in the neighborhood. So that's this segment. And so we get questions from, oh, it's crazy how people communicate anymore. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, email is still alive and vibrant. It's actually number one question. Actually, number one is in person right here. Yeah. They bring in the twigs. They go, what, is that a problem? Going, yeah, that's a problem. That's <laughs> what aphids can scale. What are you talking about? That's going to kill the tree. Yeah, let's show you what to do. So that's number one. And we just package those and then share them. And so yeah. you bring that to. Uh, you know what my favorite one is? I want to know what your favorite one is. And then I want to know who your favorite man is. Oh, okay. Well, when they come in with the stick and they go. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? And I'm like. <laughs> Uh, Can we wait till I put some leaves on? <laughs> it was funny. We had uh, three people just pass their Arizona Certified Nursery Professional mm -hmm. degree. So this right. is a big, this is like the bar. Mm -hmm. So it's a four-hour test. It's crazy. It's three segments of just testing, A, B, multiple choice, design. Mm -hmm. And the last segment, segment number four, takes an hour. You line up a whole bunch of plants. Half of them are twigs. <laughs> And so and they got to ID them. And tell, they got to have the botanical name, the common name, and size it. How does it grow? It's hard. They got to nail it. And you got to get at least 80% or you fail. Mm -hmm. And so we had Doug Arthur, uh, Amy Langley, and Michelle uh, Hyatt. All three passed that. In fact, they did really well. Michelle and Amy got the highest score in the state of Arizona. This is a national, this is a not national state mm -hmm. test. And uh, they tied. Of all things, when you blend all the, you know, you rate, you score each segment, segment. and they blended them all together, they had the same exact score. It was amazing. I mean, yeah. the, the uh, uh, CEO of the whatever, I think it's uh, Mesa Community College, uh, it scored like, it. And they're going, huh, we've never seen this happen before. <laughs> but they were studying together. Yeah, they they Every night they'd come over to my office and mm -hmm. uh, just, just study, they'd go through all the exams so they yeah. could get it. So, Proud of them. Hey, way to go, Doug, Amy, and Michelle at Waters Garden Center. You guys are awesome. They did great. Yeah. But, so yeah, back to where we were. I, I don't even know how I got there. <laughs> I'm just proud of them. Oh, I was writing a press release for Michelle's oh, thing, okay. letting people know because you know you yeah. want to make your people proud. Well, sure. Something you can send back to mom and dad. Because a lot, a lot of people have that designation in any garden oh, center. It's very unusual for one garden center to have one. A Arizona certified nursery professional. We have five, so yes. you and I plus now three. I know. Uh, I look back crazy. and go, now what was my score? Was my score higher than I, their score? <laughs> I was trying to find mine, and it's been like I think I took mine in '92 or back yeah, in the '90s, it was way early. back in the day. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Yeah. So you're an old. <laughs> hey, you're right there with me, babe. <laughs> Yeah, so be careful with how, how old you're. You're just like you're a cute young thing, only eighteen months younger, but you just look better than I do. Well, you yeah. still got your youth youthful glow. Oh, just don't look close, and it's all good. <laughs> it's all in the lighting, right? I need a special glow. I got to tell you, honey. Every time you enter a room, my heart still goes pitter patter. Oh, truly, fantastic. it kind of goes. This makes me leap. I don't know. I'd still marry you again. Well, that's good. I'd, I'd, I'd keep married to you. Well, <laughs> some days. <laughs> okay. okay. We no. all have our days. Garden questions before yes. we go too deep down that path. We don't go down that bunny trail. So Tony's in Prescott. She has not seen any signs of life from her uh, crepe myrtle and her trumpet vine. Okay. So she wants yeah. to know, is there still hope? Should they be leafing at this yeah. point? And should she start watering at this point? So crepe myrtle, there's some things, summer plants have zero interest in summer. I mean, have zero interest in spring. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I like, got that back. Wait. Zero interest in spring. They want summer. They want it to be 90, 100, 110. They're still good. Uh, spring plants love spring. Mm -hmm. They don't like summer so much. So they're blooming. So lilacs and forsythias, uh, uh, quince, roses are even growing right now. Mm -hmm. These are spring things. They're erupting with new growth. The trees are willows, cottonwoods, erupting with growth right now. Right. Uh, but your Summer trees like mimosa, they don't care. They, they have no interest in spring. They're waiting until it's warm. Mm -hmm. uh, crepe myrtles and 
What was the other one? Trumpet vine. Trumpet vine. They are summer plants. They have zero interest in spring. They're going to wait. They'll be two months before crepe myr myrtle actually mm -hmm. wakes up. Grapes, they like the summer. Right. They form fruit in the summer. So they're going to wait. Whereas strawberries, they're starting to they're yeah. starting to grow right now. Yeah. So they're a spring thing. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, don't don't give up. Fertilize. That's the best thing you can do for all your landscape right now. Take that all-purpose plant food, that 744. It's like magic for anything that blooms. Mm -hmm. Really get them to grow for you. And then watering, uh, I would say wait to water those. Ground's still relatively moist, mm -hmm. and it's it's cool. Right. So the plants, they're not growing right now. So the crepe myrtles aren't. Now, things that are blooming, watch them. So purple leaf plum are starting to bloom. They're using water. Red buds. Red buds are starting to bloom. Mm -hmm. uh, so watch those things. As a leaf or flower, that's your cue. Ah, they're using water. Time to start uh, powering up the irrigation, maybe by hand. if You don't have the entire irrigation system on. Mm -hmm. But within a week or two, we'll have all the irrigation going. Just, just start okay. so you balance out the landscape. Okay. Do we cover all of her stuff? I think so. Okay. We go. could go on, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> but we'll answer Don's question. We have question. 10 minutes. Oh. Yeah. Don, So Don save put me. in. It, he needs to reseed some bald spots in his sod lawn that okay. he put in a couple years ago. His question is, he doesn't really know what type of sod was okay. put in, whether it was a fescue okay. or Kentucky blue. He wants to know, is there a, <laughs> wants to know, is there a grass seed uh, that he can put in that will blend nicely? Yeah. So, so, so there's two basic kinds of grass. If he's local, almost guaranteed it's a cool season grass. But just so everyone knows, because it's broadcast throughout – Arizona. Um, there's also warm season or summer grasses. So Bermuda, that's what they grow down in Phoenix. Uh, buffalo grass, uh, blue gramas, summer grasses. They're only green in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, they're brown the rest of the year. And so probably doesn't have that. You would pay sod. You, you don't want that in your yard. You want kind of want green year round if you're doing, mm -hmm. if you're going to commit to grass. And so probably you have a cool season grass. Those are going to be two types uh, probably we have two here at the garden center. One's called a drought hardy fescue. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very deep rooted. It's a little bit thicker blade, but green right through winter. And then we have the old fashioned Prescott blend. That's a bluegrass rye grass blend. Mm -hmm. um, if in doubt, blend the two together. No one over. I mean, a professional, maybe I could tell the difference. I have to actually look at the roots. Uh, if in doubt, it's spotted for a reason. Why did it spot? You might switch it over to the fescue anyway. Yeah. Deeper rooted, more robust. Maybe mm -hmm. there's a hot spot. Maybe there's dog spots. Yeah. Fescue. If you have kids or dogs, fescue is the way to go because uh, it just doesn't spot as well. Ball fields, we're using fescue on those because they mm -hmm. take the traffic better. But on the courthouse, they're using bluegrass. The front of magazines, that's going to be bluegrass uh, or, or Prescott blend because mm -hmm. that's it's just so soft you just want to roll around in it so anyway that's come talk to us bring a sample in mm -hmm. if you really want to id it cut out a square put it in a box bring it in we'll look at the roots and go this is a fescue or a, a bluegrass fescues have real deep roots bluegrass has rhizomes or, or runners that go off to the right. side you can you can probably id it yourself now that you know yeah, you know <laughs> what to do <laughs> let's try and sneak in another question um, Shannon's out in Chino Valley. She has a hedge of Fotinia that right now there's little black spots all yeah. over them. And then she's also noticing just probably just some cold damage. The leaves on the top look yeah. pretty iffy. She wants to know what she can do to whip that sucker back into shape. Super easy. And a lot of Fotinia are like this. They're kind of high maintenance plants. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would never introduce one into my yard. They're just so high maintenance. I'd rather use Cotoneaster or silverberry there's mm -hmm. some other choices that don't do that right but they grow fast right. and they're they grow so fast they're cheap so they they, they fill in super quick so usually they're going to be a lesser price mm -hmm. but they're mildew induced which is probably the spot from last uh -huh. last year is probably powdery mildew or leaf spot from last year it will spread onto your plants this year so come in and get a bottle of revitalize it's a it's a mm -hmm. leaf leaf disease thing mm -hmm. spray the plant and then for, feed it with all-purpose plant food. That 744 food will get it to bud up and get all that new red growth. The problem is if you don't put the Revitalize on, the second it has green growth, the spotting will come right onto the new growth. So it's kind of a tag. You want to do tag team. Come bring a sample. We'll help you out with that. It's super easy to solve. So. Gotcha. 
We are out of time. Ken Elisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners. Be right back.